Liverpool to Portsmouth, yeah, that chorus got the crowd screaming. What's going on, people? Fame Entertainment here from the Inner Circle. If you missed my last video, please go back and check it out. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And as always, go in the comment section down below, positive and negative feedback is always welcome. So please, let your voice be heard. Now before I get started, I just want to remind you guys um, that any of your gaming news, Xbox, PC, PS4, anything related to gaming, make sure you get all your news from TickGN.com. And if you're looking to have great gaming conversations and debates, please go on to Facebook and join our Facebook group, Hard Not Gamers. Now today we're going to talk about how weird and you know mysterious as some gamers have been acting over the past few weeks there seems to be a lot of fake hate towards microsoft's uh game cancellations uh first we all knew about uh lionhead studios being shut down so we wouldn't get uh fable legends people are all oh my god what is microsoft doing blah 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 as as if really they were peeping for fable legends you know and most people that i've seen who were talking the most crap about the cancellation said what is microsoft doing to people who don't even own an xbox or a gaming pc to even play the game it's just fake hate you know to to stare up and move uh their their propaganda it's all propaganda regarding to it uh now we, we've it's come out that microsoft had opportunity to sell the um the studio but they didn't want to package the fable franchise with that and people are going around saying oh microsoft should let someone else have the game or let someone else do it and but i don't ever hear anyone else saying that any other company whether sony nintendo should let someone else have their ip should sell their ip to someone else it is obvious to anyone with three cells inside their brain that microsoft still has plans for the fable franchise they may no longer be with Lionhead. But they have plans for the game. It seems as if whatever the issue they had with Lionhead, you know, they Microsoft had to let them go. <coughs> My apologies. We would never know exactly 100% what the reason was. All we have is speculation. But it's obvious that Microsoft still has plans for the IP, you know, if they didn't want to sell the studio with the game. Because other people, other companies wanted, wanted the studio, but they wanted Fable. So... I can't say this for any certainty, but I'm almost certain that at some point we will see Fable 4. And it's kind of cool hearing that um, a lot of people at Lionhead, they wanted to do a darker, grittier Fable 4. Um, and for some reason, you know, Microsoft wanted to do Fable Legends, which is kind of weird. But like I said, we will never know the complete story on what happened here. So I do hope at some point we do get that grittier uh, Fable 4. And now we hear that Project Spark has been canceled. So for you people who actually bought the game physically, I think you bought it, it came with like an extra coin or whatever, you guys will be getting a credit uh, to your Microsoft account. But people are all in arms. What is Microsoft doing? They have no idea what they're doing. Look, they're just canceling games left and right as if you people really cared about Project Spark. I didn't see people live streaming Project Spark. I didn't see people uh, having uh, YouTube videos with Project Spark playing in the background. You people honestly and truly did not care about the game. And unless I'm wrong, someone please go in the comment section down below and let me know if I'm wrong. Didn't Roblox, doesn't Roblox do the same thing? Doesn't it have the same function as Project Spark? And it has the, if I'm not mistaken, like I said, I reserve the right to be wrong, as always. But doesn't it serve the same function as Project Spark? So why are you guys so upset that this game is gone a game you never even played a game which you probably do not even own an xbox one or gaming pc to play the game it's all fake hate to push propaganda you guys were not peeping for these games fable legends okay and and that was mostly for the people who actually owned the console was looking forward to playing the game if you did get inside the beta or if you were in the beta you liked it then yes you have a right to be upset because you probably actually were looking to play this game. For the people who do not own a platform to play these games, you guys are full of crap. And it's just propaganda that you push. There's a bunch of fake hate going on for Microsoft. And there's games that, you know, I don't want people didn't care about, but people really wasn't pushing, you know, being all upset. Oh, I got to get ready to play Fable Legends. Oh, Project Spark, that's my shit. Wasn't nobody doing that. So you guys need to calm down relax you are not people for these games so stop making posts and youtube videos of how what microsoft is doing. it's not as if they came out and counsel scalebound 
or council or gears of war for then then you can ride in the streets then you can be upset then it's time to see a hundred videos on youtube about that but for games like this stop this is fame entertainment from the inner circle you guys have a great one and i'm out <laughs>